Hello my friends, welcome to blog 102 of youtube.com slash alansky666 Where do we stand today after all these blogs? Has there been success or failure? in introducing the Messianic Age. I have given the United States the honour of being the first country in the world to disarm and all other countries would follow suit. I proposed this in one of my early blogs. This did not happen. In fact, soon after I made the proposal, a new machine for killing was introduced called the drone. Where were my disciples in the United States? I am sure that I have more disciples there than in any other country in the world. I also proposed that my disciples would cross over the border from Israel to Syria and march unarmed towards Damascus in order to protest against the unfortunate civil war. This again did not happen. I have proposed peace trains in various parts of the world especially from Jerusalem to Tehran. This may be contemplated. The United States is the most powerful and yet youngest country in the world and one of the big five. Let me approach China. China is the oldest country in the world in terms of having the first civilization. China is the most populated country in the world, not in millions of people, but in billions. China has had many internal conflicts, but has not been expansionist except recently in the unfortunate entry into Tibet. Tibet is a country of peace and charm, with no army, but a firm belief in the Buddha and compassion. I am sure China has had misgivings in entering Tibet and would clearly like to make an exit, rebuilding many temples and bowing to the exceptional needs of the people who find peace and love in their faith. My friends, humanism is the answer, and I am pleased that China has increased the number of children that families can have from one to three. China is a member of the Big Five and will soon have the largest aircraft carrier 
in the world, raising sea levels even further than the force of the melting ice caps. Dear China, I am the Messiah. I want to save our species, Homo sapiens sapiens. Would you like to join me in saving Homo sapiens sapiens as well as your panda? The panda needs special bamboo shoots to survive, which is in short supply. Our species, Homo sapiens sapiens, needs air, which will soon be in short supply also. Our planet is being gobbled up by deforestation, pollution and acid rain. We have success in medicine by saving lives, which is meaningless when one considers the loss of life through needless wars and the gradual extinction of man, plants and animals. Dear China, you have in the past built a mighty wall to protect your country. You helped to build the mighty railways in the United States. Can you build a peace train from Beijing to Tehran, then on to Jerusalem? This enterprise would be the greatest enterprise in the world, second only to the landing on the moon by the United States and the few steps taken by Neil Armstrong. Dear China, mankind in this vital stage of our history must abolish war. The peace train will be a symbol of peace that will leave Beijing every hour on its way to Jerusalem. There will be swimming pools, dodgem cars and hotels along the routes. There will be music, song and dance and Elvis and Marilyn at night time. It will increase your revenues tenfold and place you in the forefront in the research of light and gravity to raise Homo sapiens sapiens to his status as the gods. And with your enormous workforce, every part of the track can be laid within six days and rest on the seventh. A small exaggeration. Leave the aircraft carrier and build the rail track. Salvation is within our grasp. 